Hey guys, and welcome back to Kitchen Influential. I apologize that I had to take a bit of a hiatus from bringing you guys videos, uh, and hopefully I'll be able to get back onto a regular upload schedule. Today, we have another burger of the day, and this time it is the A Good Manchego is Hard to Find Burger. This burger consists of an all beef patty topped with caramelized shallots, fig jam, and manchego cheese. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is destem six ounces of dried mission figs. Place those figs into a small saucepan with one cup of sugar and the juice from one orange. Here I'm using a clementine because that's what I had. The thing with most of the recipes that I give you guys is you can just use what you have. You know, if you don't have an orange but you have a lemon, go ahead and use that, see how it comes out. If there's ever an ingredient that you absolutely must use, I'll make sure to let you know. So, add a cup of water to this and bring it to a boil. Once it is boiled for 8 to 10 minutes, it should look like this. Kind of like a syrupy consistency. And once you've reached this stage, you can go ahead and take it off the heat and let it cool. And now we move on to the shallot, which is like the sweet, mild, younger cousin of the onion. It lacks the harsh bite that you sometimes get with an onion while still bringing an onion flavor. So go ahead and slice three shallots into thin strips. Now, throw in about a tablespoon of butter into your favorite saute pan. And once your butter is sizzling, go ahead and throw your shallots into the pan. Now, normally caramelized shallots or onions take about an hour to make properly following the traditional technique. But with this method from J. Kenji Lopez Alt, you can have caramelized onions or shallots in a fraction of that time, and they'll be about 95% as good as traditionally made caramelized onions. So, over high heat, we're going to lightly salt the shallots, and we're going to frequently stir them so that they don't get burnt. Now, as they cook, they're gonna to start to look like this. You add water every time it looks like that, and eventually you get caramelized shallots with this perfect jammy texture, and they look like this. That took about 15 minutes. Now that the shallots are done, we can turn our attention to finishing up our fig jam. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take the cooled off uh, fig mixture that you, that you had on the stove, and put it into a food processor or a blender and just puree the crap out of it. And that's literally it. That's how you make fig jam. It's really easy and when you're done it has this perfect texture just like a jam would have, hence the name. And now it's time to make the patties. Now this is something that we've done on this show several times so if you guys are okay with it let's just breeze through this real quick. Very hot pan, lightly oiled, salt the patties just before putting in the pan. When you see juice coming to the surface, you know it's time to flip. So you're gonna salt this side generously and then grab your favorite spatula and give it the old flip -a -roo. And if you've done everything correctly, you'll end up with patties with this delicious brown crust. That is called flavor. And now we pile high with manchego cheese. This cheese comes from the La Mancha region of Spain, and it is produced using sheep's milk. Go ahead and throw a lid on that to assist with the melting process, and we are ready to build our burger. Onto a toasted bottom bun goes a leaf of romaine lettuce, followed by the burger patty. On top of that, a nice generous, generous portion of caramelized shallots. And finally, onto the top bun, we're going to spread entirely too much fig jam. Like, oh my god, why are you using so much? Oh good, you're adding more fig jam. Don't be like me. Please, don't do this. And after trying this burger, I gotta say, not my favorite. I could see how it has the potential to be good, but it's just too sweet. The fig jam is sweet, the caramelized onions are sweet. I think in order to make this better, it would need to have more acidic bite. So maybe try adding some more lemon juice or orange juice into uh, the fig jam when you make it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time.